Hey guys, so in this video I am going to be answering questions about my stepdad. A lot of people want to know a lot of stuff about my stepdad, so these are questions that I will answer personally about him, about me, about us, and find out what you guys want to know, and if there's anything I didn't answer, um, comment your question down in the comments so that way I can read them and answer them in another video. And I'm gonna start with some really juicy, interesting questions. The first question I have is, what made you look up your stepdad after being apart for so many years? And this is a question I get a lot, and honestly, it all relates and starts back to the fact that I reunited with my birth dad first. And that was something that happened um, totally on its own, and I didn't really have much part in that. He kind of reached out to me. But that whole reunion with him really inspired me and made me realize if I can reunite with my birth dad who I've never met before, then what's stopping me from reuniting with my stepdad who I miss and I love and I want to see? And I had already known his address. I looked it up online because I'd been thinking about him for years and I had known his address for a long time. But it took me a while to come up with the courage to go and drive to his place because I was scared of rejection. It was that whole thing where if you don't go there, you're not yet rejected. It was either I go there and I get rejected and that possibility of having a relationship with him is totally done forever, it's never going to happen, or I'm going to have everything I ever wanted. And it did take me a while, but once his 50th birthday was approaching, I decided even if I'm rejected, I'm going to go there. I'll know either way, we're going to make this um, happen, we're going to reunite, or we're, or we're not, or he doesn't want anything to do with me, but at least I knew. And I encourage anybody who's thinking about a family member that maybe they haven't seen in many years and um, I encourage you to do your research find out where they are and go and find them because it could change your life it changed my life for sure so the next question is how do you maintain the confidence in helping your dad at all times this is a really good question and if you have somebody who's mentally ill this is the question I want you to understand and listen to is the fact that I'm confident every time I help my dad because I know that even if we don't come to a solution, even if he doesn't feel better at the end of it, I know that just me being there is helping him. I know that every little thing that I'm doing is helping him because it's better than me doing nothing. It's better than him not having me there at all. So anything I can do, whether it's just sitting with him in a quiet room, whether it's just listening to him, whether it's having him listen to me, whether it's taking him out and distracting him, whether it's giving him advice, giving him tools, whatever it is, texting him, calling him, FaceTiming him, seeing him in person, all of it is better than doing nothing. And that is how I have the confidence because I know that it's okay if it seems like me, whatever I'm doing, isn't actually helping him at all because it only seems that way. In reality, I am helping him and I know that I'm helping him just by being there for him in any way, in all the ways, in the small ways, in big ways, they all help him because like I said, it's better than nothing. It really is. So if you feel like if you are there for your loved one and you feel like you can just never get them out of that mental state and you can never help them there's no solution and you want to give up just don't do not give up because what you're doing is helping them and they're gonna remember what you did for them when they go off on their own they're gonna be very grateful and very thankful they're gonna be better off than they were if you didn't do anything and everything you do really really does help how long was your mom and stepdad married for? So, um, my mom and stepdad, they met when I was two years old. They dated for one year. They got engaged after that one year. And then they got married one year later. So they were together for two, a full two years before they got married. And then they were married for 10 years. So in total, they were together for 12 years. Met when I was two. So by the time they split up, um, I was about to turn 15 just a month shy of actually yeah a month shy of 15 so they were together for a very long time and 
They were obviously together the whole time that I was growing up. So that was my dad. You know, we lived together for a good amount of time, all of my formative years, and my stepdad really influenced me a lot because him and I, we were very, we were very close when I was younger. We really enjoyed hanging out with each other and we loved each other so much. And um, that bond was definitely strong and created when I was a kid. And like I said, we rekindled it once I got older. What do you love most about your dad? So the thing that I love most about my dad, speaking about my stepdad, is how freaking kind this man is. He is the kindest man I've ever met. And with that kindness, he shows his appreciation for life without even realizing it. You know, when we go out to the store, every single person that he interacts with, he is so kind to, he smiles at them, you know, gives them genuine conversation, asks them their name and where they're from. Anytime we would get pedicures or we go out to eat, like he wants to connect with people. And I really admire the fact that he's just spreading love and joy and kindness everywhere he goes. And it's something that I really love about him. And every time he does it, I sit back and I let him, you know, do whatever he wants to do, say whatever he wants to say. And sometimes I see people kind of blow him off and just be like, yeah, hi, and, you know, walk away. And that says a lot about that person, and it says nothing about my dad. You know, my dad's going to be the same no matter what. And if you're not receptive to his kindness, then that shows, says way more about them, says nothing about him. So that's probably my favorite thing is his kindness. And with that, I benefit from that too because, you know, he'll see me and he'll just... Like just today, I saw him today, we had um, dinner together at Red Lobster, and you know, I threw on some accessories, some earrings, some rings, and bracelets, and he was just compliment, he complimented each thing on me, he complimented my makeup, everything, he just compliments me like crazy, and not only does he give me physical compliments, but he compliments my character. And if I show him love and show him support, he he's like, thank you so much. Like, he really shows his appreciation and his love. And it's just something about him that I admire so much is, like, him expressing his feelings so well. He's so amazing in that way. What is your favorite thing to do with your dad? My favorite thing to do with my stepdad is when we play music and we sing together. This A lot of times this happens in the car when we're driving somewhere. I'll play one of his favorite songs and he can't help himself. He'll just start singing with such passion and such confidence and he really gets into it and he's really loving it, enjoying himself. He is such a music person, especially 80s songs. He really loves his music and because my I've been with my dad so many times, um, I know these songs and all the lyrics to them as well so I sing with him and it just feel I feel such a connection to him when we're both singing the same song at the top of our lungs so passionately maybe now we're holding hands I just love that and it reminds me also of when I was a kid this used to happen all the time too and my dad something one of my favorite things that my dad would do singing wise when I was a kid was he would put my name into the lyrics like if the lyrics literally were twinkle twinkle little star he would say twinkle twinkle little little Katie it wasn't that exact lyric but that's just an example of he would just put me into those lyrics and he still does that today sometimes and it's just such a cute funny thing that he does and it's Totally one of my favorite things to do, like my favorite thing to do with him ever. That's all for this video, guys. But if you have any more questions that I didn't answer about the, these topics, please put them in the comments so I can answer them in a different video. And thank you so much for watching, guys.